And ladies and gentle fish, welcome back to my playthrough of the Arma 3 campaign. So here we are with episode 2, part 2 of the Survive campaign. Our audio levels shouldn't be uh, as loud as they were last episode, that was a bit unfortunate that uh, my audio was drowned out for half of it, or drowned out for half of it, so hopefully it should be better. Right, here we are. So it's two hours and f just pretty much two hours later, near LZ Baldy. Central Stratus. Let's do this. <laughs> Sorry, still having some, uh, still under the weather as it's the same day as I recorded the first episode. I've already uploaded the first episode. But now, I'm a little bit back. Or, uh, I, I, uh, didn't play for a couple hours, and then I let the video upload and stuff, because I only have so much space on my computer, so I have to do it bit by bit. I can't really do mass recording, unfortunately. <laughs> um... So, Adam's got in contact with somebody, it looks like. Lacey, the dude with the, the, kind of the range, kind of the, uh, the range master hat. Okay, we're regrouping, we're gonna go regroup with him, apparently. I still have my scope on my gun, which is nice. You think we can make it there, sir? Fair enough, let's get a little bit closer to him so we can hear him. Oh my god! Dude. 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 Yeah, I'm here. Fuck. No! No! Uh, uh, landmine. I'm on my own. Frack monkey. Yeah, I... Fuck, I, I copy. Come yeah, on. I mean, no. I'm fine. Wait. Um, what's he saying? Make on, you gotta go on your own from here. Well, crap. Um. Navigation. Press A through O to call and support. Supports. Navigation. Here's some additional info. Alright. Since Adam said to mine, I advise you to continue in your original direction of travel. Alright. Look at your map once again, we're at grid... 432... At this old outpost. Oh, I'm in the middle of a freaking minefield. It's Captain Scott Miller of the Royal Navy. Hell yes, the Brits have arrived! The Brits have arrived! Okay, we're in a nasty predicament here. Man, freaking Sergeant Adams! See, that's what I was liking about the campaign. It was just getting you attached to people, getting you to like people. Which is good. Okay, not so fast. Al Altus' armed force have concentrated themselves around Mike 26 and Air Base, meaning there's CAF units between you and us. I'm dispatching a team to rendezvous with you. Just eats of Tamp Camp Tempest, or call sign is Falcon, make your way there, over. Alright, so, can't keep waiting on day, we're leaving in 10, hope to see you then, out. Oh crap. Frack, monkey, I'm getting shot at. These guys are going to die. Oh crap! One down. He had buddies. His buddies did. Crap. Wait, use two thir two oh three. Use the two oh three. Um drop the range to hundred meters. Pop goes the weasel. He 
get him. Screw this crap, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting the hell out of this place. Okay, well, this is interesting now. You kind of actually have to think on your own, rather than just follow an invincible AI. <laughs> That's unfortunate. More smoke trails. So I have to be there in 10 minutes. Okay. I think I can make that 200 meters away. But there are enemies everywhere still. Got enemy checkpoint up the road. Gotta watch it. There's Mike 26 or Airbase 26 or whatever. Enemy strider on the road. Frack. Okay, we are just going to do -do 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 -do. sneak by. I do not want to get into any major conflicts. Any major conflicts. I like how there's enemies right there, and when we got friendlies just chilling right there, <coughs> chilling just down here. See the big white building? Yep. Yeah, yeah. The old one next to it. Old okay. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. These guys are blind. You. Oh, it's this lazy? Linked up the Bravo. What's up, guys? There's no one worried about the fact there's enemies right there. Nobody else concerned at all. All right, guys. Just so we're all on the same page. We're going to push south to rendezvous. Link up with the Brits. Link up with the Brits and continue to Camp Maxwell. Can do. How many of there are? Uh, how many of... There's one, two, three, four, f four of us total. We're going in there. Yep. <laughs> the forest. You got a problem with forest, Carrie? I just haven't had that much luck with him today. Okay, apparently I've no. There's five of us. Yeah, fifth guy just showed up. All right, so I joined this guy's squad. Hopefully, Lacey is a sergeant. I'm a corporal. So that's the rank differential. That's why I'm not leading the squad, thankfully. Go back into first person here. So I can be a bit more ready for combat. I also appreciate the fact... Well, my... He's huffing and puffing, but he's been running all day. I appreciate the fact that my guy literally is not dying right now. Because in normal, like, multiplayer Arma 3, you take 10 steps geared up and your guy wants to pass out. It's interesting. My head's on a swivel. Now, this is starting to feel like Ace or MSO. I just feel a bit more like Ace going through these valleys and stuff like that. On um, Takistan, I used to play Army 2, uh, the Ace mod with a bunch of, uh, in like a, kind of a, a group. And these, and we would go through squad, uh, valleys like this. I'm trying to keep our head out for op or eyes out for op four because they were floating around everywhere with SVDs and RPGs and all that fun stuff. So this is very reminiscent to uh, kind of Armor Two and how it would play as far as squad tactics go, which is a, which is nice because I that was one of my favorite things about Armor Two is the fact that it required squad tactics. So rolling bravo. No contact yet, thankfully. Waiting for the landmine. I'm waiting for our numbers to get drastically cut down. Because I feel like that's what's going to happen after Adams took a landmine to the gut, or to the body, or the legs, or the feet, or wherever. I feel like we're going to lose half our guys. We got a grenade. We got a grenadier, auto rifleman, and a grenade uh, and a combat lifesaver. And there's me. And I, I'm. I think I'm just a team leader. Is all I am. And I picked up uh, his. You say that like it's a bad thing. I don't like this. Too quiet. Yeah, it is too freaking quiet. I completely agree. This is not okay. It means either the enemy hasn't seen us and are too busy worrying with bigger people, or they know we're here and they're stalking us. Oh, we got contact. Hello. Ambush. Can someone say ambush? 
Get to cover, get to cover, get to cover, get to cover. Where'd they all go? We get them all? I don't think we did. Alright, I got, I got one of them. There's two dead. There's three of them I saw. We supposed to be moving up? I told you going through the forest was a bad idea. Oh, but we're fine. We didn't lose anybody. We're fine. We're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. These guys aren't very highly trained, thankfully. We're not going up against um, an army of SEAL Team 6, thankfully. These AAF guys are a little bit rookie-ish. Saving games. Something's about to go down. I like how we got some ambient firefights in the background. Uh, we got some, like, fog rolling in from smoke. Kind of settling in the valleys, which I think is really freaking cool. Really like that. Adds a lot of, uh, ambience. Contact. Contact. Large contact. Friendly, why are you running out in the open, smart one? Hostile down. You alright, dude? Lacey, you okay? Yeah, Lacey's alright. He was running up to the brush cover and there was a... This is not cover. What drugs are you on? You guys got anything I want? It's a light machine gun. Um... Put some combat goggles on, yeah. Kind of customize my look a little bit more. A little more personalized, alright. You're supposed to be going to Camp Tempest on the coast to regroup with the Brits. Alright. So these guys most likely started coming this way once they heard the shots from the other patrol we took out and they started uh, walking that direction and they, we ran into them. So it's not really happening as fast. This is a bit more of the tedious part of the campaign. Where it's, you're really just trying to escape at this point. With what guys you can scramble up. Move 100 meters. We got contact? Yeah, we got contact. I don't see him though. There he is. Move, guys. Don't get in my way, please. Ow, I'm getting the crap shot out of me. I meant to be behind the tree. Oh, did we lose a guy? Oh, we got a man down. I think we lost two guys. Oh no, we lost our medic. <sighs> Crap. Who else did we lose? We lost another guy. I think. Who do we got left? We got a grenadier. Con no, that wasn't that wasn't the medic. That was like a. I don't know who that was. There's no, we lost one guy. We didn't lose two. We lost one. Yeah, don't get spotted by no chop now. Okay, so these guys are not invincible. They can and they will die. It's good to know. I might have team killed them by mistake, to be honest. Was not expecting that to happen. I'm gonna go ahead and delete my waypoint. I said over here as I'm still walking, which actually that's actually a really cool feature I like about Armor Three is you can still walk and then look at your map at the same time. I'll switch back to the red dot. There we go. We got three guys. Three guys left. We lost one. I like how they weren't even freaking out about it. You lost. You lost one of your squad members. You would think you would care more, right? That's just me, though.
This music is creepy. It's like soft and calm, like we're about to die or drowning or something. This music is like your best friend died. Hello. Easy does her. The car is broken, right? Yeah, it looks like it. I wonder if that guy could have lived if that was a, uh... That event where that guy died was supposed to happen. Or if he could have lived. Curious. He probably could have lived, to be honest. I think this is a bit more of a dynamic campaign like that. Where what you do impacts the campaign. Because you have one less guy, you're going to be less effective in big firefights. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. And that's just kind of thing that Arma has built into it is that there is just built-in dynamic campaigns. It, every, it's like scripted stuff like Adam's dying. That happens, but everything else is really is not too scripted as far as like the combat goes. Which is which is one thing I love about Arma. It's all very based on how you perform and the consequences of uh, if you screw up, you're in trouble. Well, glad that's over with. Okay, why are there dead guys? Oh, that's that's nice. Try not to shoot us. No promises. That's freaking reassuring you, sir. I'm taking your backpack. You're a medic. <laughs> Thank you for the backpack. I'm scavenging. We need medical supplies. This, these are we got friendlies up here. Is this the Navy or is this the Royal Navy? Oh wow, there's just more of them than I thought. Hey, we got the Brits. Sup guys? One GBU. We're all dead. Oh no. Oh yeah, these are the Brits. Sup guys? There's quite a few of them. There's like a squad of five. Alright, let's... Where are we going now? So we're really regrouping with a very small Brit squad and then we're going to die? Well, this is fun. And fade out to darkness. Is that the end of the episode? Eh? It is! Well, that's the end of part two! I think I thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one.